people always ask, why did YTF end? And I think the catalyst to that was because of that tour. You ever make love to your own music? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, that would be super awkward. Off, 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 off. The pill. With the clappy claps right away, everybody. Okay, uh, welcome back to another episode of Off The Pill Podcast. Today, <laughs> I thought it was the, uh, I thought the audience comes I in when know, we introduce the guest. I'm just messing up, dude. Dude, you are messing up today. Uh, so right before we got started, there's been a lot of technical difficulties on the part of Paco. Um, <laughs> but we are here with a very special guest. His name is J.R. Aquino. This is when the applause was supposed to <laughs> Some of you might know who he is. Hey, what's up, y'all? <laughs> One of the sexiest voices that we know. <laughs> Yo, thanks, man. Sorry, we've been having really a lot of issues uh, with um, getting this thing started. No, we're good. We're it here. It took about an hour um, <laughs> to get this thing started, but we're good. And Jarrah is here. But yeah. before we get started... What is lucid dreaming again? Lucid, <laughs> lucid dreaming is basically just you're aware that you're dreaming so you can control it. You can literally do whatever you want. Like, I've never done it. That's why I want to actually see that is, is not the other thing no it what's is not what's the movie uh in, you're thinking of insidious insidious oh what is inception <laughs> <laughs> insidious. no it's not it's um uh not your astral projection that's okay. what you're thinking of uh astral projection is i don't i think it's just it's just seeing yourself sleep i don't know what it's called it's just auto body experience and you kind of just see yourself sleep okay so i think i've done that before or or i was dreaming that i was doing it regardless it's very boring because okay. I know in that dream, or when if I was actually doing it, I was like, I thought I was lucid dreaming because I was awake while it was happening. But I was like, okay, I want to fly through this roof. And I couldn't. I was just like watching. I was on the ceiling, stuck there, looking at myself sleep. Oh, that's lame. I know. And it wasn't scary. This <laughs> is before just like, Insidious It's just like a live out. stream? Yeah. And I'm just <laughs> watching myself sleep, which is already kind of weird, but I'm aware of it. I'm like, oh, this must be lucid dreaming. Mm. Like I thought like, I felt my body lift up and I could see myself sleep. And it was just so boring. But then lucid dreaming lucid is... Lucid dreaming is uh, when you can... You're aware, whatever part of your dream, you, can, you don't have to be like coming out of your body or whatever. It's like you're just in the dream and you're aware. Like there's certain triggers, I guess, that you uh, you can you can do like counting how many fingers you I have think. or looking at a uh, watch in your hand or something like that. Oh, okay. You have to trick your... Not trick yourself. You have to... Um, you need some kind of way to tell yourself that you're dreaming. Gotcha. Mm. Once you realize you're dreaming, you have complete control of, over the world. You can do whatever you want. You can Dang. fly. You can have a so celebrity appear. It is kind of like Inception in a way then. I guess so. I'm not. In, I, I kind of forget how Inception worked. Well, inside is like it is controlling your dream. But to piggyback Aren't they controlling of that, others though? Uh, yeah, that too. It's Inception was the whole idea of like planting a dream inside yeah, that's of right. it. planting okay. an idea inside of somebody. Right. Um, but yeah, it? lucid dream would be tight. I, I would know. like. I would. I would actually probably just uh, be in a, zo a zombie apocalypse. You would want that to happen only because then I could have my. You know, like you have your whole loadout. Like I'd have a bunch of guns. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? And I yep. just go through and like murk everything. Hey. You just lost our monetization by saying guns. Did I really? Dude, you know how crazy? You have it. How long? Oh, is it wild? Yo, I'm not in. I'm you not been on YouTube. I'm yeah. not on YouTube. I'm, yo, I'm streaming. You're a straight I'm Spotify a streaming artist, artist now. You're a Spotify now. Yeah. But I heard Spotify is actually, well, going back to that. Yeah. yeah. So so last time, last our last podcast, I think we called it, we talked about the Momo Challenge. You oh, heard gosh. about that, right? Oh, yeah. That so we had it looking. in like the title and it wasn't, we weren't like promoting it or anything. Mm. We just talked about it, like how oh. we're doing right now. Okay. But I know better now. We had it in the title and and they they freaking flagged the video. What? Yeah. And it had lost monetization. Wait, is take YouTube it back soft down. now? It's soft. No, it's YouTube's mad, soft. soft. Mad soft. <laughs> YouTube's soft. YouTube's soft? <laughs> so YouTube's flaccid? Yes. Yeah, oh my gosh. We are losing monetization for sure. So JR is an OG YouTuber. You've been yeah. around since 07? 06. 06, yeah. 06. Around the same time. Yeah, then. fall of 06. Yeah. Um, um, you got started. Uh, like, I'll let you tell it. How you got started? No, you tell me. No, I'm just kidding. I, mean, well, I don't know. <laughs> you tell me, bro. I know um, some stuff. I started... Um, I was born and raised from Anchorage, Alaska, and uh, shout yeah. out nine oh seven eight. Yeah, nine oh seven was good. Shout out to everybody <laughs> out there. Stay, Are you stay from the hood, warm, dude? Staying warm in the cold. Is there okay. is there hoods in that area? Yeah, like, most there's, like, the hood area. Yes, there's hood everywhere. 
I'm just know, super honest. like offended that he don't yeah. think there's a hood there. No, I don't know. I've never been there. Yeah, they pull up with ice picks. Damn, so, uh, yo. oh, <laughs> damn you about to get so much hate. Yo, angry that's change. wild. Anyway, go ahead. Um, go ahead. Yeah, just grew up uh, being Filipino. I, uh, you know, just sang karaoke, you know, um, and did a bunch of like um, school events, banquets and all that stuff, singing at that stuff. And it wasn't until, oh, I was like 16, 15, 16. I did American Idol and I made it to the top 44 of that year. Uh, that was Carrie Underwood's season. And what season is that? Uh, season like four. Three, oh, four. Season four. Mm. Carrie and Underwood didn't even win that year, she right? She did win. I thought she was one of those. Who am I thinking of then? I don't know. She no. blew up really big, but she's not the winner. You might think of Clay Aiken. Clay no, Aiken. Not Clay. It's a, it's a Dowtry? girl. No, it's a girl. I don't know. Uh, Dowtry did Jennifer, didn't did Jennifer win. Hudson win? Was she oh, on no. That? She no. didn't. She's the one she's, maybe I'm thinking. Big, yeah. She got yeah. huge, right? But Kenifer, uh, Ken, Kenifer, who? Yeah. Kenifer, but Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood, season four. Season four, That's the one you were on. Yeah. Okay. Carrie Underwood and... um. Yeah, I did that. Um, How old are you at the time? 16, 15, 16. 16. So I was the youngest actually in that season, mm. in that in that in the top forty four. Wow! So, um, and it was kind of cool because with that one, I kind of didn't know where I stood in the whole like how good I w- I was. I guess they didn't know how good you were. Yeah, because it was like oh, okay, I knew I could sing, but like, can, am I really gonna? Do, how do I stand against other people? You have no thing. comparison. Yeah, no you, comparison. You're I 16. Guess. Yeah, 16. I mean, I'm from Anchorage, Alaska, being a small place. Yeah. And this is before the internet, too. So it's like, oh, I really don't know anything outside of... Oh, before it was popping. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, uh, yeah, I made it to the top 44, and that was like out of 100,000 people. So out of that, I was like, oh, okay, this actually could be a thing. Uh, so I went through high school, and then it was, uh, it was like the first semester of college... And um, I was on this uh, this new site called YouTube, and I saw a video by uh, David Choi, a uh, friend of the show, right? Yep. Yes. You uh, saw the him playing the YouTube song. Yeah, he was playing the he YouTube song. He was featured. Song. Yeah, That's he was all I found. Exactly. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, this looks cool. Uh, looks fun. Like, And back then, we're not thinking anything of it. We're just like, just right. going to throw a video up. And I, and I was like, oh, cool. This guy, like, he's Asian. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> and then so I put up a video, and um, like I don't even look at it. For, it was out of sync. It was so bad. Does like, David know this story? By yeah, way? I've told him. Oh, I think really? I've told him like several times. I think a lot of people would. Yeah. not necessarily inspired, but like, hey, an Asian dude yeah. online. It's, and that's what it abused. is. It's re, re, uh, be that re, re, relatability. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I just put up a video and then didn't look at it for, and then two weeks later, I looked at it again. And it was like ten comments and 150 views, and I was like, oh man, this is tight. Dude, that's your whole city. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, I'm kidding. Hey, 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 coming hey, down. Yo, We're hating yo, on Nana, it. 907, get him. Hey, 907, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come hurt us. Stay over there oh on your God. little <laughs> island. <laughs> <laughs> my little well, island. We're, just, we're talking about how yeah. Alaska's, I mean, it's so far that a lot of people would consider it like another yeah, country. Yeah, like it's another country. Yeah, yeah. same with Hawaii. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, I mean, I don't. Correct them. Well, Hawaii like, hey, so what, feels like you, another country, though. Yeah, they say like, oh, how do, how, how's it like um, moving to the states? I was like, well, yeah. we are. A, yeah, we are. I don't correct them, but it, I just go with it. Or whenever they're visiting that. Hawaii and they're like, oh, I gotta go back to the states. Yeah, and I'm like, so, so you mean now? <laughs> you here? We you're are here. a yeah. state. We're here. <laughs> you're in a state right you're now. Here now. <laughs> yeah. No, but Alaska is a very. I mean, Hawaii is very different, but Alaska is very different too. Yeah, we're both different. Yeah. Yeah. But for sure. I mean, well, it's crazy because some people don't even know where Alaska is. What do you mean? Because they, because you know, in some of the maps, oh, they put they're in the us be- next in the to each other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they put Hawaii and Alaska. Like yeah. some people really think, yeah. Like I'm like, y'all. They're like, oh, oh yeah, Hawaii and Alaska. They're in that right little next, white yeah. box. Damn, I wish it was right next to each other. You yeah. know how far them? The weather would be bomb, <laughs> or it'd be so worse right? for us. You That's never, true. you never would have moved then. Dang, you're right. Yeah. Anyway, Alaska is so different that they have like. I don't even know how many shows, but I only know that because my mom watches it religiously oh, yeah. and she's addicted to them. I mean, it's it looks beautiful, but I mean, it's not Anchorage. They're like in the middle of nowhere. Wait, are you, are, did you just imply that Anchorage isn't beautiful? No, I mean, it's, I'm saying <laughs> is it? No, no, it's where the, wonderful. It's a beautiful place. No, where, love, the show, where the shows take gotcha, place I'm is I'm not scared. in like the city. They make it seem like it's uh, in the middle of a, like the woods. Or it like, is in the middle of woods. I think, yeah, because like literally there's only, I think, 500,000 people, like half a million people in the whole state. And just to give you like, um, like comparison, like um, Alaska is two times, like two to three times bigger than Texas. Two to three? Yeah. 
So I it's mean, huge. It, it is. But then that's not a lot of people. That's not a lot of people. How, well, you said Anchorage is like... Anchorage is about like, I'd probably say like 300,000 people. That's still more than my island. Less than his island. Yeah, my yeah. island has like what a, island a million. What island are you in? Oahu. Oahu. Where, where, where in Oahu are you? Uh, Like per, uh, Waipahu, Pearl Harbor area. Waipahu. Yeah. Dang, they scrap out there, right? A little bit. A lot of Filipinos yeah. out there. Yeah. What are you trying to say? But I was on the richers. What does that mean? The, the richer side. Oh, 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 so you don't scrap, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You don't scrap. Look at these <laughs> arms. Do I look like I scrap? <laughs> Do I look like I scrap? <laughs> for those of you who don't know, scrap is another word for fighting. Yeah, <laughs> in, they say that. In, how do? Why do you say that? They say that yeah. there too. I just know. There's a lot of Hawaiians here. Uh, I know that you. Is, that is true. <laughs> yeah, but I don't say. Oh, what? You like scrap, brah? I think I just know. Yeah, you just yeah, know, man. Yeah, have you been in a scrap in your life? Once. Ooh. Really? I didn't nah, know Nah, but I can't even say it was a scrap because it was one and done. Know what I'm saying you were the guy that got, got knocked, knocked out. out. <laughs> 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 oh man no no but no yeah you knocked the guy out no i didn't knock him out Dude. it was and it felt really bad too what i did hate you do? fighting <laughs> i like so um this guy was making fun of me and i was like when probably was third this? or fourth grade it was fourth, third or fourth oh, okay. grade nah yeah i don't scrap since but mm. uh <laughs> i haven't fought since but i remember like he was making fun of me and i was like yo just stop 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 blah 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 stop and then I just punched him in the stomach like really hard. Damn. And it was it was actually really, I did uh, my timing was really good because we were all leaving the class to go outside. I punched him like really hard right before we got out. So no one was looking like the Ew. teacher was already out. And Damn. then and then he was just like crying. And I was like, oh, and I immediately wanted to like, yo, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was Dude, like that's I was a like, big brother yo, mentality. I was, like, I was like, yo, 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 don't, don't, don't say, I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. I'm so and what happened? Did you get in trouble? No, nah, no, nah, he was, he was a G. Yo, shout out, shout out to the homie out there. I'm not gonna put your name on that. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, almost, didn't. I almost didn't, but then. Damn, I yeah. have a similar story. I, yeah. I think I already said on the podcast. Did I say it on this podcast? It said it in your book. I don't know about the yeah. podcast. Why, you just beating up people? No, I mean, it's, uh, so I was in kindergarten, okay. right? <laughs> this is my what? scrap. This is my scrap. I actually have two. You're but this scrapping is, in kindergarten? It was in yeah. kindergarten. And he's a misogynist. Yeah, so I was in <laughs> kindergarten. And you know how you like, everybody lines up for, uh, you know, to go to like the lunch or whatever. I don't know, we used to do that. Okay. You would line up. And yeah. it was always like the goal to make it to the front of the line. Okay. And where I sat, and you can't run because the teacher will yell at you. you yeah. Just everybody walks really fast and yeah, stiff yeah, yeah. like that. <laughs> no, I yeah. mean, but like, you know how kids, when they're trying to, trying to not run, yeah. <laughs> that was me. But I could never get there. I could never get to the front because where I was sitting was like towards the back of the class. And I have to go around desks. So the people on the other side, their backs facing the door, they turn around and they're already there. But this one time, I remember I got to the very front, very front of the line, hyped. I, I rem the reason why I remember this is because it, it was a big deal back then. I finally got to the front of the line. And this girl cut in front of me. She did a, She literally just saw me there, did a sidestep and came in front of me. And I didn't say anything, took a sidestep in front of her, turned around and socked her in her stomach. <laughs> and she just collapsed. And when she did one of those like, <gasps> where she was on the ground, couldn't breathe. And then I got sent to the principal's office. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Yo, it was a girl. So my story is worse than yours. Yo, you, you did it just because she was she, she, she yo. cut, dude. Yo, what? Yo, that's that's not. Yo, fit. at the time though? I didn't know that yo, was. Yo, okay. what if she liked you though? Maybe. What if she was just flirting? <laughs> that's not how you flirt with kindergarten Ryan. Yeah. Like maybe yo now she knows. <laughs> she never and she never cut again. Do you know? Do, do you like? Do you know this girl? I after? I remember her. Have her you apologized name. since? I haven't. I did it on like a video. I was like. uh Sorry, Hannah. Um, I don't know her. <laughs> well, I mean, it's. I think it's fine. like I was in kindergarten, dude. I yeah, got so you. much trouble for that already. Um, I'd be so mad at you. No, I was. A, I was a. That's. A, I was a. That was a, a jerk move. But she shouldn't have cut. <laughs> 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 anyway, that wasn't a proper oh, response. Man. I just didn't understand the yeah. time. For don't one. do that. I got yelled at from my parents too. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Um, and then the second time I ever got into a kind of a fight was in fourth or fifth grade. It was an after school program. Mm -hmm. And uh, I brought for uh, like a show and tell, I brought a bee and it was in like a jar okay. or like a thing. And it, it has like, you know, obviously it has holes and stuff for the, so I, I caught a bee and I thought it was the coolest thing. I brought it, took it to the after school program and this kid tried to take it, he tried to take my bee. So he the took the jar. bee, like he was like, just, I guess he was just looking at it, but he took it with him out of my cubby hole uh -huh. and he had it with him and I caught him. I was like, what are you doing? I took it back, put it in my cubby hole and he, we kind of got into like a scuffle because he's, I don't know, he was just like trying to see it uh -huh. and this is like fourth or fifth grade, so I did like four years of judo already. So I just grabbed him. Oh, you just waiting for this and moment, I, and I tossed him on his head. Damn, bro. Yeah, but I mean, this is just natural reaction. Like we were having like a little, 
little wrestling thing going on. It's what you were trained for four years to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, it was just natural. Like yeah. I didn't try to punch. Just waiting for this yeah. moment. I just it. Take, don't take my B and don't cut. <laughs> That's all you guys do. Did the key did the B go unscathed? The B was fine. It was good. I, yeah, but I um it might have been a wasp actually. I don't know. Oh I don't wow. Remember. I don't remember I don't remember. Yeah. Um but yeah, I got in trouble for that too. So is there more? No, no, that, I, haven't, I haven't yeah, I, those two times. But both times it was a reactionary response. I wasn't pushing people okay. down. And I used to get bullied. So Okay, there it is. Maybe that's des- maybe I I sh- I deserve to get bullied. I like <laughs> punched a girl and then and then so, uh, this guy tried yeah, to take my beat. Yeah, yeah. So you know. Anyway, yeah. that's enough of my fighting stories. Any you got you got, you got no, any I fight stories? I don't yeah, have nothing. any fighting stories. No, no. I knew Rich I would kid. never beat up somebody. I knew I couldn't win a fight, so I would just Dang. tease people and run. Dang. That's why I'm fast. Oh man, you are pretty fast. Yeah, I, I always just, hear like Hawaiians always be fighting. Well, Shout out to my barber. My barber was telling me he he hella scraps. <laughs> no, he she even showed me videos. No, but the thing is, it's almost like it's almost like a respect thing. It's not always like yeah, bad. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all like okay, we have problems. Let's That's fight. what you got. Let's yeah. fight. Like we're not gonna pull a gun. We're not yeah. gonna yeah. talk. We're not gonna, we're not gonna stab gonna, each other. We ain't gonna talk either. We're yeah. just gonna yeah. We could yeah our fist talk. It, yeah. It's almost like a kind of like a normal thing. And then after you guys, most times like it's more um no matter who wins, you're supposed to shake up. hands. Yeah, and call it. Yeah, yeah, like there shouldn't it. be nothing else after that. Yeah, and that and it works. That's the, that's good though. It's better that's than good. like you know someone pulling out a knife and stabbing yeah. someone, or and then that person retaliates, Most you know, with, with their family, and yeah. Yeah. it kind of works. I mean, it's not the most civilized thing, but it's about respect, and I like it. Yeah, and, and that's why YouTubers are boxing now. They're trying to respect each other. You know what's funny? But Before, they get they get the bag for it though. Yes, that is true. You know what's funny though? Before <laughs> that became a real big thing, I always said like, man, these guys are. At the time, they were just doing diss tracks. I was like, they should just like, they really hate her that much. Why don't you just, <laughs> just fight? Just fight. Yeah, like, right. I didn't say, bo- I mean, before it was announced, I was like, I mean, I talked about this. I wanted to do a show. But I was like, you guys should just fight and then make up. Like, just, that's the best way to do it. Like, yeah. Hawaii style. <laughs> just just <laughs> fight it out. And then, you know, wh- no matter who wins, you just hug. And then that's it. Call it. That'd but be super funny if that's how presidents and dictators like, <laughs> got into arguments. That's like instead of wars. Yeah. We just we just everyone gathers up and we yo, have we'd presidents be, fight. We'd be electing it on a different <laughs> no reason. Yeah. On, on the real though. You'll be like, yo, the rock better be president <laughs> next. Yo. He better be next. <laughs> All right. Uh Donald Trump versus Kim. Kim Jong un. <laughs> oh, I was like Kim, like Kardashian. I was like, Whoa. I mean he's he's way younger. Yeah. Wait, are we smaller. thinking like in a fight? Yeah, in a fight. In a fight. fight. Oh, he does have like he has like um what is it when you're lower They're to the ground? He's lower yeah, to he's the ground. Lower to the ground. Center of but he's small, but he's also mm. way younger than Donald Trump. Um, Donald Trump, from what I hear, eats very unhealthily. Yeah, <laughs> I can't no. imagine he has any cardio. I don't know. Something about his hair makes me feel like he he can't can scrap. Fight. Like he, no, he can't fight. Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't think he ever. He's holding his on. Life. Like you see his hair. Like he doesn't have. You should just give see, up. But he's fighting for his hair. Ah, <laughs> mm, mm. uh, anyway, that's oh, no. He's so orange too. Remember when there was celebrity death match? I love that show. I know. So Kids good. don't know about that. If that would don't be a know good about one. it. Yeah. So they used to be a claymation. It's right? way too, uh, we're way too, um, I think TV is way too soft now to do that now. Oh, yeah. Just like YouTube. <laughs> Damn. YouTube. Damn. They YouTube. hope they don't listen to this and you're just going <laughs> to Just mad. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, if we're talking about YouTube and stuff and like comparisons from the past till now. Yeah. Because uh, YouTube is great. And thank you, YouTube, for everything. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. But uh, I, I guess uh, you guys. We're in this group called YTF, yep. yes. which was like uh, probably one of the first, if not the first, super group on YouTube. Well, super, super group? group. <laughs> what a name. I'll, Ooh, I'll take that. Why is it super? Well, we were one of the, f- I mean, before, this is before like the, all the Team 10s and like the, uh, there was the Australian. Because there are things right now, right? Yeah. yeah. We were, so we didn't, They but they became businesses. Like they treated it like. We were literally they, just friends. We just were friends. And then eventually we made a business out of it in a way, kind of. Yeah. But we were just friends who were hanging out. And um, we I think just it was at. wanted to do more stuff to hang out. Yeah. It, it was an excuse for us to hang out. We were just friends. And uh, we came up with this thing, uh, YTF, yesterday, today, forever. Um, and we had a message to spread. And we basically just made it because we wanted to hang out. We wanted to tour together and. Yeah, we weren't. We, we weren't. Yeah, we weren't thinking of it as a business. Just be boys. Exactly. Yeah. 
But you should like hide it in videos and well, stuff. <laughs> yesterday, today, forever. That's the name that a lot of people knew. Yep. But uh, I guess a more subtle name that it was, which was well, what did you guys call? Well, we it? could talk about that. I mean, <laughs> I don't think it matters. Now. I want to know because then the way that it sounded, the original name, which is, yeah. I want you guys to say because I don't. No, say we're it. just gonna keep it a secret. Yeah. What's the what? Do you <laughs> <mean>? <laughs> I'll say. It. <laughs> no, we're gonna no, keep it. So. Originally, originally, before, when it was just us talking, mm -hmm. it was literally a bunch of guys in a room, right? And we were just hanging out. And we were like, dude, we're like, we're, this is like a YouTube frat. And that's what how it started. YTF initially started that way. And they started talking about getting all these Letterman jackets. And it was like, I that was the one thing I was opposed. Mm. I, I know you guys wanted it, but I didn't want a Letterman's jacket. <laughs> anyway, Yo, you know it what? started oh, like wow, that. Oh, wow, this kind of popped in my head. What? It's kind of misogynistic that you wanted YouTube frat. We didn't know. What? I you, didn't. You, did you choose YouTube frat the name? No, no, no. That's oh, what we called I thought, it. And then I was, was connecting because, like, you know, be punching girls when he was younger. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, damn, bro. <laughs> it's like it makes sense. Ryan Higa, <laughs> misogynist. <laughs> Actually, I Headline. came up with the alternative to YTF because I thought it wasn't going to exclude girls from wanting yeah, to be true. a part that's of true, it. We true. wanted people to have run the YTF that's tag, true. but it was just like, well, at the time, you not anymore. We had more girl followers than mm. guys. Now it's the opposite. Oh really? Um, yeah. YouTube in general is just more guys now. Okay. Um, but yeah, we switched it to, you know, yesterday, today, forever, which <clears throat> essentially it was just the message that we were trying to get across, right? Is yesterday is in the past today. You have a choice forever is up to you. Same thing is it's kind of the last two things are kind of saying the same thing, <laughs> but, um, essentially just meaning like the message we wanted to spread was what we believed in is, is just making a choice to do something yeah. despite your past, you know, yeah. whatever happened. Yeah, don't past. let your past circumstances yeah. define just, you. Just do it. Just That's do basically it. the Nike slot. <laughs> <Just do laughs> <it>. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. Nike. Not them. What is no, that? Who's nope, that? It's our own thing. <laughs> Who's that? It, it was the same. It was the same idea, um, but in our in our way. That's how we. That's yeah. how we told it, mm. and that's what it became. Yeah. And uh, from there, uh, I, I guess you guys went on to do a lot of pretty cool things. Uh, what was your guys' personal like favorite YTF moment? Favorite moment, Dang. yeah, and then so I, I kind of want to ask some like dirty questions. Yeah, you YTF. can ask it. What's well, the favorite? Are we, oh, we gonna answer? Yeah, <laughs> Our favorite moment, you first. No, I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm trying to think. It. Yeah, favorite moment when um, it ended. Oh my gosh, <laughs> 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 damn, just oh, kidding. Man. Jokes, damn, jokes, you about to get so joke much joke long, <laughs> joke long. Um, um. Dude, I, I I mean the first tour was pretty fun. Yo, oh, we, the, the Hawaii tour. one. Yo, the Hawaii I, was the oh, first man. show. Hawaii was that really was awesome. Other than the fact that I got my heart broken in Hawaii, <laughs> but what? My girlfriend at the time, I found out in Hawaii. Yeah. Oh, did I? Okay. Dang. Okay. We're, I guess we're going here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember this. To be honest, no, I don't. Hawaii. Yes, for sure. Best time. Like that was. I I, I really. That was just a really good like. Bonding time. Yeah, it was a great we had show. A, we, had, we got our own day. Yeah, which is like YTF October ten <laughs> or eleven, something like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we don't have to go. My thing. Well, I didn't. Per, I mean, if you don't want to, we don't have to. But <laughs> I, I do remember. So basically, we, okay. Remember that day we actually were doing a photo shoot. Yes, that first yeah. day. Um. And then the day before, we actually were celebrating Dom and uh, Dietrich and uh, Andrew's birthday. Yes. With dinner. So that night. Uh, I had like a really bad feeling in my gut and I was just like, cause my girl went out, my girlfriend at the time went out that night and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh wow. That's kind of stupid to do. But then, um, we just don't say names. Yeah. You're good. And then, um, she, yeah, I just felt like, you know, you got, I just gut feeling. Yeah. Had a gut feeling. Blah, blah, blah. But then for the most part, I'm like just worried about her well being Cause I know she was going out, she was drinking, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, woke up that morning. Got on the phone with her, found out that she cheated on me. Damn. And dude. then we had to do that photo shoot. I kind of briefly. Yeah, you remember? And then I kind of went downstairs in the lobby and I was saying uh -huh. what's up to everybody. And then I just couldn't hold it in. So I went back upstairs and I started like laughing hysterically. Laughing? <laughs> like crying and laughing. Like I was oh. like, I just like was like shocked. I can't believe this. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and then went back down and we did a photo shoot. Okay, well, I don't remember that part. Damn. Okay, so Hawaii wasn't that fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii wasn't no, that fun. But Hawaii, no, that was for sure. That was a, that was my best time. Hawaii was fun. <laughs> despite I liked Hawaii, that, despite, despite that. that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that is why I um that is why I cried on stage during uh 
Uh, I forgot one of the songs that I did. Oh, Save this. I had a song called Save yeah, This, yeah, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. I choked up during uh, during the performance. Yeah, they're probably like, man, this song is so deep. Yeah. It was really that moment. Yeah, it was really that moment. Wow. Because I remember writing that song not about a specific person, yep. but then after the moment, after it applied, I, it applied, and I was like, damn. <laughs> Damn, that kind of okay. So, well, when you do write songs, mm-hmm. it's not always necessarily. There is, it's always inspired by love, ob- obviously. So, right. a lot of a lot of it is um, just different aspects. But sometimes it'll be personal, and then other times it'll be, I'll know enough from someone's perspective to write on it, or it intrigues me enough where right. I'll be able to be like, how would I, how would I react in this situation right. or write? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But go away. <laughs> Well, I guess that would make sense, though. <laughs> I mean, I think some of the best music, for whatever reason, maybe it's just my personality. Like, I really like s- really sad. Oh, music. tragedy, heartbreak, yeah. heartbreak, horrible music. Sometimes I'm just like, <laughs> sometimes it's hurt, just hurt me. It's like, damn, yeah, just hurt me, just yeah. hurt me, just hurt me. I think that's called it's gonna, it, a masochist. Or I'm just like sadistic. sad. No, but then you get inspiration. From yeah, that. you that's get why. it. Yeah. I'm like that too. You're just on a writing drought. You're just like, I need to get, in, I need to get my heart broken. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just like, <laughs> just imagine someone goes just dating people just so he can make good music. Yo, Taylor Swift does that, I think. Yeah, that's what I think too. Taylor Swift, Ta- you the, smart. The Taylor Swift conspiracy. She Dang. dates people only to get her heart broken so that she can write good music. Wow. Now we're we on to you. Yeah, we're on to you, T. We're on to T Swift. <laughs> I feel like that's kind you of ain't been that a, Swift. a common thing that people <laughs> assumed for a while, though. <laughs> oh, is Come it? Come on, man. <laughs> oh. Jump on board. Who's team are you on? <laughs> I, I guess we don't know enough about Taylor Swift. But <laughs> oh, wait, really? Is that what people Yeah, say? that's oh. what a lot of people thought. Like, oh, maybe she just writes good music. Hey, that means eight great minds think alike. You know, we're <laughs> right on the same page. We are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good to know now. Your favorite moment. Oh, Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can't take mine. That's true. I mean, what else was there? All I know is the last tour we did was exhausting. It was super exhausting. But shout that out to Grant, love you. Yeah, shout out to, well, we had people who kind of organized it. To yeah. save us money, yeah. we essentially were like, how much it was, six shows? Yeah, and we're trying yeah. to be the most um, cost effective. Yeah, we've been very, because we didn't, you know, we're trying to save money. Yeah. It's a lot of us. We got to put everyone up in a hotel. We got to book the venues. We're all doing it on our yeah. own. Um, we also needed like Maybacks and like Mercedes to pull up and pick us up. <laughs> no, just kidding, that was totally yeah. not true. Anyway, <laughs> it it was that was a tough tour because we were we didn't sleep. I got like, sick. Like, yeah, really everybody sick. was getting sick. Yeah, um, we didn't. We would like arrive in a city, perform. You know, in the morning, early yeah. in the morning, we would leave do that, uh, some, leave that night sometime. Yeah, we would do the uh, rehearsal thing, go to a hotel or something for like. Two so hours. I'm tired thinking of it. I know. <laughs> and then we'd come back, do the show, do a meet and greet. It'd be like almost midnight. If there was an event, we'd have to go to the event after. And uh, the flight was like a few hours after that. So there was no hotel, really. It was just like that for like two weeks straight. That's everybody tough. was mad and grouchy. <laughs> um, so grouchy. <laughs> I know. Everybody was grouchy. Even oh, me. Man. Every, everyone was. And that was... That was the last tour we did. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't want to ever do a tour again. Not just with, you know, YTF, just in general. I was just like, after that experience, is that, I wouldn't say that's when YTF ended, no. but it was it was a catalyst, I think. Yeah, yeah, that tour. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. I like the jackets, though. <laughs> you like the jackets. I like all the jackets. Dude, those jackets were so expensive. I never wore it except for No, the, the black and gold ones were a little bit better on the The black price. and gold ones are better. Those red ones, though. I didn't, I didn't. Anyone want it? <laughs> well, I'm selling it, dude. They're I'm a, just kidding. They're a, on eBay, dude. They could go for a. a Yo, bit. imagine if we got all of them yeah. together and sold it as a package. Five bucks <laughs> <laughs> for seven jackets. Seven jackets. Way more. Way less than when we bought them bottom board. Well, for those who don't know, YTF was a group that we started, right? Like I was saying, a bunch of guys. It consisted of me and Jr. Uh, Dietrich, Kev Jumba, Chester C. Don't forget anybody. Victor Kim. Mm-hmm. Is that it? Is there seven? Was that seven? I don't remember. Me, Yourself. you, Kev Jumba, Kev, Chester, Dietrich, Victor. Who am I? Uh, Andrew, 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 and uh, Andrew, later, we love later, you. we did yeah. not forget. No, we didn't forget Andrew. Andrew Garcia, who was also on American Idol. Yes. What did he make? Top. Um, he's number one in my heart, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Honestly, he actually is the most successful one in that season. So whatever. Yeah, he 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 is yeah, right. So who who even knows who won that season? I don't even know. Actually, it's probably someone who's doing well, but we just don't know who it is. No, no hate on that, but Andrew Garcia yeah. all the way. Anyway, Andrew was also part of it, and then uh, Tim kind of joined us at the very end. Oh yes, honorary um, member. <clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah, Tim Delegato on yeah. Wild and Out. Yes, for people who don't know. Yes. Um, and yeah. 
like I said, it was a bunch of guys at the time. Um, not that we didn't allow girls in. It was just at the time when we formed it, that's what who was around. It's very casual. Just guys. All right. I want to ask one. What was like one of the craziest YTS stories you've never told? But you feel like, you know. Crazy? It's been a while. It's been a while. I think I can I let this one out the bag. One we haven't told any real stories, but we never talked about anything as yeah, a as a not really or individually or as a group. We've never crazy talked. YTF story. Yeah, like was there ever like one night where just like seventy strippers came into like a hotel room? Dang, not from my experience. But not they were I all can. dudes. <clears throat> not that I can remember. No, well, you guys are boring. Then Honestly, yeah, no. So I mean, we just we we're tired. You see. know how exhausting that was. Yeah, we never really did anything crazy. What? Yeah. Well, we're lame. Honestly, the most that we ever did was when they when everyone lived in North Hollywood, and we just we literally just hung out all the time and just yeah. we're in the rooms, playing video games or watching movies. Yep, that's it. Yo, we're super boring. Now we I go to Panera it. Bread. No, we go to Panera Bread down yeah. the street. That Yo. was like our exciting day. Like, hey, Yo. you guys trying to go to Panera today? <laughs> Let's go down the street. <laughs> Yo, you trying to eat the Greek food like that one spot? Right oh, next yep. To Yo, yeah, yeah, yo, we're lame. <laughs> Damn. Now I, now I hear it back. It was kind of lame. We didn't do Even much. our tours. I mean, I think most of the time we were literally just doing video. Like we really were yeah. just having fun making videos. Yep. This literally, like, it's like how could, for the most part, we were literally just doing how, what can we do to be creative and help each other make yep. the videos, make mm -hmm. whatever idea come true. That's pretty cool. And a lot of stuff we didn't even put on camera. Like a lot of freestyle stuff yeah. we would do. Like we'd start, we'd make each other laugh so hard. There's too much to laughing. Yeah, too much laughing. We had to stop it. <laughs> That's why it ended. <laughs> no, I, I do think though, why? because people always ask, why did YTF end? Mm. And I think the catalyst to that was because of that tour. And at the same time, that's when Kev... Uh, he booked that Cartoon Network thing. Mm -hmm. He was on like doing some Cartoon Network, uh, not a show, but he was like hosting okay. Cartoon Network a little bit. And so he wasn't on that tour. So already it became six people from seven. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm not saying that it's because of Kev. That's why it ended. No, but, no, no. but that is like, I think it's around that tour. Yeah. It was just too much. It's a lot. For one, I just didn't, I was just a host. Like I didn't like, I think, I think it also, my thing. I think it also started be when you, when you start, um, I think it was the, the, when you start bringing business and friendship into each yep. other and not having the clear distinction between the yep. two, we didn't start when, it as a business. Yeah. Yeah. And so I there think, was no infrastructure yeah, that yeah. we're like, and okay, communication. Exactly. Communication. Yeah. Number one yeah. for anything. Yeah. Communication. That's, now people know we yeah. weren't talking, no communication. Yeah. We literally <laughs> we didn't talk. We had a bad tour. <laughs> we didn't talk at all. <laughs> you guys were just singing, not talking. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, I mean, that's pretty cool. Well, it's crazy story. I, yeah. I literally don't have one. It's, it's, it's fine if you don't have one. Well, the thing cool. is, there's individual drama in the group that happened at towards the end. Most Ooh, of us were all friends, stuff. but <laughs> I can, I don't want to. I don't. I, I'm gonna wait out. until they come on the show. Yo, can we do can a whole side. YTF like podcast episode? No, we don't got enough cameras. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put a bunch of us. Andrew will sit on my lap yeah. or something. Just do a reunion. Just no, I mean we could. Show. Hey, uh, breaking news: We're gonna have a tour. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Do not say that. I'm just say kidding. That. Just kidding. Anyway, uh, yeah, we uh, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, I think what where, where are we at? We're not at the 30 minute break already. Oh we wow, are. that was fast. That's quick. All right then, I guess it's time for a shishi break. Shishi. We still need a way to get into that. We haven't figured that out. You guys have a song. Hey, for it? can you sing it? Shishi break. Make it up right now, freestyle. Here goes a shishi break. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's all right. Cool. No, I could have sang it better. Sorry, guys. No, do another one. Go. Here goes a she she break. That's beautiful. Shh. And we're back. Back from the she she break. Back from the she she break. Back from the she she break. Yeah, we're back from the she she. <laughs> so good. He was singing that. He was singing that the whole time while we were like getting ready to go again. I felt inspired. I know. I like it. Anyway, we're back from the shishi break. Yeah, we um, we oh, uh, before we go into that, should I we just it. use that as the jingle? I don't no. know. 
I don't. I mean, we don't feel obligated. I don't know if there's gonna. I mean, we'd have to get like a legit recording. Uh, yeah. I mean, I was like, we also have to like get him to sign a release form for that. <laughs> yeah, and then we'd have to pay him residuals. <laughs> 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 They're like, oh god. <laughs> anyway, before we get back into, back I just into hear, it. I hear the future version of it. You guys just change it up a bit, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we're just like, oh, we changed some notes, so that actually we own. Yeah, so yeah. You guys own it. that's how things work. That would be Wait, really can you speak? Filipino? I can't speak Tagalog. Uh, tag- tag- uh, tag- tagalog. 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 The main dialect is Tagalog. Tagalog. There's another one though, right? Uh, there's uh, Ilocano. That's like a lot of All Hawaiians. Right, right. A lot of Hawaiians, I think. Um, and Visayan, right? Visayan, yeah. But yeah. There's I was, another one? I was too, there's, no, there's like a lot. My dad All speaks from the six. Philippines. Yeah, my dad speaks, speaks six dialects. So, but there's each like, other I think one there's hundreds. Really? There are thousands. There's that's not a language. That's just words at that point. No, but it's like uh, different regions. They have different. It's almost so like they wouldn't understand almost like, each other? It's almost like, yeah. It's like let's say like even in um like in America we have people from the Midwest from the also like accents so it's like almost. slangs or yeah, like things. it's I almost see. like it's oh, it's like because like in certain dialects they don't um like pronounce um like certain letters and all that stuff I see it's just stuff like little things like that and then just even words like in in Church. a whole in pigeon we don't pronounce R's at the end yeah of words like like more better oh, yeah more better which is Mo-bamba. more better. Mobamba, it's almost like an A. Mobamba, <laughs> you know what that is? You watch basketball? Yeah, well, and he's a song a, too. He's a very song. big song. It's a song. It's a song. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a huge song. It's a basketball song. player. Yeah, yeah. It's no, about what that song guy? Is it? It's but about it's that about guy. It's about Mo Bamba yeah. has his own song. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, good. Sorry, I can't do that song. <laughs> I was gonna. We're gonna get copyrighted. Why does Maybe he have do his own song? He's like a rookie. Oh no, second year, I think. That's he's literally that. I mean, he's okay. So I believe I ran across a video where the guy was saying that. He um his name is Sheck West. Yeah, Sheck West. The rapper w- is actually knows the guy. He's like he's Obama or something. Obama. And then yeah. and then Mo Bamba was like, oh yeah, put me in a song. Put and me in a song. And literally then literally named it literally after. named the whole song about him. Damn. And it slaps, dude. It, it is a bang. People do love it. Well, I'm, it's that thing I'm that not a fan, singing. but I think I know. I'm it's a catchy. huge fan. It's catchy. I like it the most. There was a Twitter video that I saw that went viral. Um and Mo Bamba now they, they drop he he drops the end bomb in it a couple of times, mm-hmm. but this Twitter video had like. I'd say at least a hundred oh, white kids yeah. in a. Uh, oh, we're like, talking about the games. Uh, no, no, in a in a well, games too, but in a jumping like a large trampoline gymnast area, and they're playing that, and all these little kids are like singing along with the song, Yo, and then it's right, wild. yeah, right as the N word drops, like they're all like saying Yo, it too. It's For wild. And the, yeah, it's, it's like, wild. I remember oh. seeing, yeah, like seeing like the basketball games, and you see like college, like you know, college games get intense, <laughs> yeah. and they are saying it, and yeah. I'm like, damn, people can do that. I mean, they're not supposed to. <laughs> it's oh. so, one of the, but you'd the, be looking and you'd be like, I'll be like, damn, these guys don't care. <laughs> one of the college games, the uh, right as a, the, that part was about to come up, it was a black guy filming. Then he filmed another black guy in the crowd. And the black guy was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> puts the camera on himself. Oh He's like, God. I don't know. And then he just films all the white I'm people. Dying. And they're just like saying it. And then just I'm like. <laughs> I, I always thought like, I mean, you just stay away from it in general. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I guess if it's not in that context in a negative way, it's they're yeah. literally, they're not saying, they're not creating the word. They're just repeating. Yeah. Like wh- when is it like, yeah. you know, I mean, I feel like. Like we're, what if you had a Kanye West show? We we are not for we're for sure not the ones to decide decide yeah that. Right. but because like at the end I of the just day, avoid it yeah all, yeah because at the end of the day we don't have the yeah it's not us affecting yeah being affected, and it's not our yeah. word yeah. yeah 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 so like if if you could avoid it just do it uh huh I think that's the thing. I I it's just, a, it's just, a, it's just, a, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, you know, you don't need I mean, to. I've seen even, I always even thought, like, even shouldn't black people not say it too? Because it's like demeaning to, especially them, what right? Like, I mean, I, I've seen both sides, yeah. obviously, where it's all almost become a part of the language, but those, there's like, between the black community, they are already fight about that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, some people yeah. say you shouldn't say it, and then I see people. Because the argument is like, that what? the argument is that, like, they, Took that word, which was negative, and created right, it, right. made it their own, which was right. like a, a word of endearment amongst themselves. And that's why other cultures feel like they can say it yeah. because it's like, oh, this is not a negative thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it stems yeah. from something like that. Yeah. So it's yeah. such a if like a so I can see why people would sing yeah, it. Yeah, but it's also and I think it all it's also coupled with um, when people say it without um, education, being educated about the yeah. word. 
Um, and I think that's the main problem is like why you don't even you don't understand the yeah. what comes with that. Like you haven't earned the right. Yeah, for this, not, you know? not I, and I don't. We never will. You know what I mean? Because we don't we don't have that. Uh, we don't know the history. We don't know. We don't know what right. that actually means to be that. It also changes over time too. Yeah, like um, like uh, even back in in especially in Hawaii for for us, mm -hmm. like I said the f a g word on mm -hmm. a video, and I was like. I didn't think anything of it. Yeah, like I was, I, it, it didn't have the same meaning that it did now. Mm. Granted, back then, um, being gay wasn't as popular, I guess, mm. there's, or ex, as accepted. But I didn't even associate that with gay people. I just thought, like, mm. oh, that meant something else. Like, it's like, oh, if you're feminine, if you're acting feminine, mm. I thought that's what it, I thought that's what it was. I didn't know. You didn't like, have I, negative content. Yeah. You didn't know that the word itself had a negative. Well, it, yeah, had I known what I know now back then, yeah, of I course, probably, yeah. I would know better. Yeah. But yeah. it's just how in over time and back then too, people didn't think much of it yeah. either. Like gay people didn't think much no, of it. So for me, because I'm from Hoya as well, and then like there are people who are called mahus, mm -hmm. which are kind of like it, it's kind of like um. I think that's offensive, isn't it? No, supposedly it isn't. Oh, at least in the okay. comments that from the other one. But right, right, right. It's, it's kind of like a Hawaiian word for that in a way, but not as offensive. And I used to get called the f word by them, so I was yeah. like, hmm. What is his word now? <laughs> so I didn't even think it was like associated so much with like really being gay and stuff. I just thought it was like an insult. And I was like, damn, dude, they got me. Yep. <laughs> they got me. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he said they got me. I was me. like, yeah, they're going to call me that. And I guess it's not that bad, but they got me. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. So it's just, it's weird how it, it um things just change. Everything, yeah. maybe there's a word we said today that when they watch this podcast it, 10 years 10 from now, years we're going to be now? like, yeah. Damn, they said, wow. Yo, she, 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 I literally dude, say she, she's dude. gonna be crazy. You can't yeah, say she, she anymore. They made a song well, about she, she. she. No. Oh. What is it? He, he. He, he. He, he. Yes. He went for a gender joke. He's seen us of the uh, week. Yeah. He's seen us of the week. We haven't done it. Ooh, I, li I like that. That was, that's when we talked about uh, PC ness of the week. I thought you almost said correct. penis. I know. That's the point. Oh, that's the thing? Okay. PC ness of the week. Don't tell me you weren't recording. <laughs> Yo, the time. no, no, Were no. You? I know I was. I wanted oh to push gosh. that one button. Oh, <laughs> no. no. But we were like, <laughs> you. <laughs> I was like, we had issues earlier with Paco not recording when we were talking. Anyway, um, it's only an hour. Oh, and we, a half. we know what we need to do before we forget. Because last time we ran out of time, let's get into the Twitter questions. Yeah, that's perfect, some, people perfect. had some questions for JR. Twitter questions. <laughs> Where can they follow the Twitter? What's up? Oh, Where? yeah, at, at Off The Pill on Twitter, and on Instagram, it's at Off The Pill Podcast. Correct. Because someone took at Off The Pill. <laughs> <laughs> also, and if you want to follow JR, it's at yeah. JR Aquino, A-Q-U-I-N-O. Or how else would you say it? You, I like when you say my name. Aquino? No, you say oh. it. No, dang, just not. No, you always sing it. Oh, JR Aquino. Yeah. That's, that's, that's from Jason Derulo. <laughs> no, don't give him. That's yeah, you. Know, yeah, that's me. I made that up for you. Him. You're welcome, nice. Jason. What thief? <laughs> anyway, um, the first question we have, we only have a, a, a couple. Okay. Um, Kira Arata. What's one important lesson or thing Ryan learned from JR and vice versa? One important so thing. So I guess that something that you guys have learned from each other that you feel like you can really credit the other person. Oh, for sure. You want to go first? I go first. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, my thing with Ryan, um, it's, it's literally anything you put your mind to, you can you can accomplish that's literally I taught you that <laughs> i know i think it's not necessarily teaching but you taught by example but you, just doing stuff you yeah. had, he embedded it into you because it seemed yeah. like you already had the mindset but yeah. to see someone do it on such yeah a to see it on a, on a constant consistent level and you that's what i mean that's that whenever i think of people that have longevity and um and someone that puts their mind to something because if people don't know if, if you are following ryan and you don't already know this anything ryan wants to do he will end up doing and do it fairly well that's not if, necessarily true. whatever i will i will that's try okay. it. whatever it's i'm not, not afraid your, to try okay. things whatever you're not allowed to have <laughs> yeah you're not, you're not allowed to, to judge say you're not having a lot to say in this <laughs> all right um well. you're wrong <laughs> all right <well. laughs> but uh yeah i think that I don't think that's the. Uh, nah, well, you gotta beat me in that, that one, haha. -ha. Well, I mean, one. Of, I think what you're referring to, because you, we have, I mean, you have mentioned this before, is, and what the thing that you taught me, for one, is just a run. Is ju no, just think, <laughs> just in general about, just in general about music. It's so like literally, 
I knew nothing. Like I didn't know what a harmony. I didn't know what a harmony was. You, you're the one who taught me that. Oh, you, if you go just like two notes above mm. the other note, or was it two notes? It's something yeah. like that. You I'm not like the best notes. one. I would. I won't take all of that. Credit. But I'm just like, why does this sound a certain way? Mm. And I never understood why things sound that way. And then when I heard you and Andrew singing together, you would explain to me that it's just, oh, he sings this, I sing this, and it yeah, sounds yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like two notes above harmonizes with the whatever you're singing. Yeah. I learned Melody, all yeah. this music stuff and I was so interested down to like what runs were. I was mm. like, how do you do that with your voice when you're just singing a note and it's like, nah, going up and down or whatever. Do you run? I, I can't do it right you now. You always do <clears> it. <throat> you I and Dom I, literally do the same. No, run. I haven't done it in so long. Um, I ha yeah. I mean, that's, that's because we're doing it so much that it became easy to do. You're just fired. Huh? In, anyway, um, <laughs> how about you? That what is the run that they do? And then maybe he can uh, I emulate can't it. I remember. I don't even remember either. <laughs> <laughs> you always do something like that. That's something Dom would do. <laughs> you do that too. Dom's I, like my, a my singer was, now, no Dietrich. Yeah, he's been. He's, he's like been, a singer, singer. He sings, sings. He's trying to sing, sing. He sings, sings. Yeah. Shout out to you, Dietrich. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. Get on the podcast. Well, dude. basically, get it's just it's it. because we were all around. This goes back to YTF again. We we're all around like dancers, so people would try to learn dance moves. Yeah. We were around singers, so we try to learn that. Me and Kev, we didn't do anything. <laughs> so we we're that just like, is a lie. No, but I mean in. You guys were singers, right? You, Andrew, Victor kind of did singing and dance. Yeah. Chester was a singer. Yeah. Dom was a dancer. Victor was a dancer. Like, when we did shows, me and Kev were just, like, garbage. We were just <laughs> hosts. Like, we just, like, filled time the in between one. the good stuff. But then you guys had dances and stuff and sketches. <laughs> yeah, but we weren't dancers or singers. Like, That's we would a talent in itself. Yeah, no, but I think what he's saying is that what he does isn't widely accepted as an art form. Exactly. We could yeah. bring people to the seats, but you guys were the entertainment. We mm. filled the time in between that. I guess. Our performance was literally just, hey, nice to meet you. It's so great to meet you. Good to meet you at the end of the show. <laughs> it's so crazy though, but it, I think it speaks volumes to how, how great you guys are at what you do because they literally wanted to see you guys the most. <laughs> Yeah, but it's like, I mean, if you watch somebody a lot. I, it was just a great, it was a great time to just like get some fans yeah. and be like, hey man, I sing. And they're like, oh wow, you're good. <laughs> I was like, tight, thanks. I can I see, can I see were, Ryan now? I'm it's like, it's okay. funny because a lot of people were shocked, I think, at like, a lot, like, there's a bunch of people obviously who are uh, already knew who you guys were. Yeah. But then there's some people who would come and be like, holy crap, this guy can sing. Like, these guys are real. This is not like YouTube performances. This is like real performers. Yeah. I mean, you're YouTubers, but- that they don't they didn't know that you guys were like I know really mean. legit I know. performers. I mean, there's a there's a, there is that um there is that mindset of uh or that perception of like what a YouTuber is or yeah and the the stand. I mean, uh, I think across the board, even with uh, just like actors or whatever, if you're on YouTube, you're kind of seen like below a mainstream. Yeah, there's just mainstream a perception. Artist, yeah, and I mean, to a certain degree, especially back then. It was justified. I mean, there were some shows, shows, I won't even call them shows, yeah. uh, where it's just people, it's basically just a meet and greet. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we, there was a, you guys were actual performing. That's what you guys did for a living. We even. tried to have production value. We tried, we tried. And even our show, I think, like, we, at least we tried. We tried. <laughs> <laughs> you saw effort. Yeah. But anyway, that's something, uh, I would say, uh, th the whole music thing, which actually made a big impact on my career, because I started doing, like, music videos and stuff. One of the first ones we did together was I'm you Hardcore. You guys always kill all the videos. And Not yeah, always. I'm Hardcore yeah. was the first. We did one with uh, David, David and you. Yeah. Um, I remember you were, we were filming that video and, and, and you were on a boat. <laughs> you were I was like, literally on, on a cruise. cruise. Yeah. Yeah, I was on a cruise. They were like, yo, we need, these, we need this footage. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, okay, I got to record this while I'm on the show. That was the, one of the first things I did with David, yeah. actually, ever. Yeah. Um, anyway, next question. We went, we went um, do you have another one? Let's see, Loremaster666 or Johnny X was a uh, devil. Yeah. <laughs> Asked, was there a defining moment where you said, This is it, I want to become a singer? Oh. Hmm. Because I'm sure it, during your career, there there's actually been different levels of like, this is what I want to do. And it was like a grand idea. And then now you're like, oh, more specifically, this is what I want to do. You know, like yeah, yeah, when yeah. the YouTube thing popped off, you're like, oh, yeah. I want to do this. And now when you found out, because you talked a, a little bit I off. You're about, telling yeah. him when he wanted to be. <laughs> yeah. No, I want to hear. I want to hear specific. Yeah. Well, mine okay. actually, no. The um, It actually happened before all the auditioning, all that YouTube stuff. It act, I, I was, I think I was 12 or 13. Mm. And I saw the, f wow. I always saw the first season of American Idol. And I was like. Kelly Clarkson? Uh, yeah, Kelly Clarkson's season. And I would literally watch it and I was like, oh, I want to do that. And then and I was then just a matter it. of waiting, yeah. 
And well, see, I didn't teach you that. You already did that before yeah. I met you. <laughs> no, That's exactly no, what but it was like. But you know, it was. Yeah. Um, but no, because you know, seeing it on a level other than just music and seeing right, 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 yeah. and a personal level. I think that yeah, has a personal. Lot more yeah, when you see someone that you admire and respect, so it's right. Like a yeah. Thing. Um, but for sure, when I was like twelve or thirteen, and I saw that, I was like, oh man, I want to do this. Mm-hmm. And then I guess moving on. Then so, uh, w- at what point are you now? Where you're like, this is the type of singer that you want to be, you know? Because like, oh yeah, 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 like genre wise and yeah, all that stuff. I, like, what honestly, kind of music I want to uh, like write and all that. Yeah. Um, I think um, I you know I grew up on like R and B. I listen to everything, but I'm like majority uh, is like R and B, um, pop kind of thing. So, um, but I also just love. I just like I write from personal experience, so it's a lot about love. So, um, I think once I picked up like. Once I picked up a guitar, um, I was like, oh, okay, what what am I going to write about? I don't know how to write about, like, things I don't know. Yeah. So everything's pretty heartfelt. I guess I that's kind of that's the kind of music I write. So you're a mushy bitch then kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, sure. Got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just soft. <laughs> you're, you're soft, dude. Just flaccid. Seven. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, my own seven represents. <laughs> Hella soft. Hella Hello, soft. Yeah, 907. <laughs> Anchorage. <laughs> yeah, we can get some angry letters. Yo, 907, I love y'all. Yeah. yeah. Shout out, Anchorage. Was good. Diamond High was good. That one, mm. That's where you went, Diamond High. Yeah, Diamond High. Links, Were you baby. A popular kid. Do um, you sing? Do you use your your voice in school to be cooler in school? You had to. Have we had kids like that in our school yeah. who could sing. And, and you're on. Would, uh, what is it? American Idol? It's 16. Oh, I mean, no, okay, no, I sang in school, but I yeah. wasn't like the one, um, I didn't like use it to like. You were more popular than not though. I wouldn't, uh, I mean, I, I was the, I was the kind of kid in, um, in high school where I was like part of a bu- bunch of groups. Like the guy that, the Soul floater, the floater. Yeah. That was me too. Yeah. I was like one of those, one of those guys. I had my core group, but yeah. then I was also like just jumping around. Hey, what up? Y'all jocks and all that yeah, stuff. I wasn't allowed in those emos guys. And then yeah. Cause you'd beat up girls. I stuck to my Dang, own They just remember you from the, yeah. like, can't <laughs> get that guy. To, Don't I let that guy in the group. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dang. Were you always in the front of the line forever? Like in, in the rest of your, <laughs> no, that your was, life? I was in kindergarten. Yo, I was in real? kindergarten. Anybody just be yeah. sure you're not <laughs> in not, front of this guy. Do not cut. Traffic. Yo. Same thing. You just get out the car. Yep. Do not cut in front of me. Bumper to bumper. He's like, roll your window down real quick. (laughs) Oh, it's Ryan. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Ryan Osa. Yeah, they know know better. They know better. (laughs) (laughs) They know, they know. Oh, uh, (laughs) uh, is it okay to continue a little bit more on this? Yeah, go ahead. I want to dig a little deeper. Okay. Um, So you talked about this outside before. Okay. How there was a moment about a year and a half ago. Yes. Where you realized, and I think it was because of a breakup, that, mm-hmm. oh, I I really needed to decide what I want to do with my life. Yeah, I mean, uh, more or less, it was like, um, it's not necessarily what I wanted to do with my life, but knowing what I need to do and assessing like my life at the moment was like, oh, I mean, yeah, falling off. You have a hiatus. Like, you know, you did not do anything and you're in this position in your career right now because you have not done the things that necessary to keep it going Mm. and at that moment i was like okay you know after the breakup okay i'm i after a long um after a long relationship it was like five and a half years you know you kind of become codependent at a point Mm. right um so after the breakup i was like okay i don't know how to function (laughs) by myself but then i was i was like i can either just quit um i remember there was a part of me was like oh am i gonna move back home to alaska Mm. i actually thought about it for a little really yeah for like a good week and i was like Oh, what the heck? <laughs> no. So um, that was the moment I was like, okay, I could either do that or I can be here and just start creating and start making music again. Mm. And from that moment on, I haven't looked back and it's been great. So you're like, I just saw recently you posted about how you have like, I forget what number it was, but like over a million Spotify, was it plays or? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. The year, the year. Yeah. The, Cause they always yeah. do like a year wrap up thing. I think right. like, yeah, I did. Like, um, well, it's crazy because on Spotify specifically, it was like it, the when I first started um, that first year, I think I maybe only had 40,000. I had the stupid thing where I didn't upload my music. Like uh-huh. it literally has not been on Spotify or anything <laughs> for the past 10 years. Wow. Yeah. I was late. You're dumb. Basically. I missed all the bag um, yeah. by yeah. chance. You missed. <laughs> Yo, all lot. the bags. Dude. <laughs> um, but whatever. You can't, you can't think about it. 
yesterday, yep. well, today, you, yep. forever. In the past. <laughs> today, the other day, you made a choice, <laughs> and then now you're on no, Spotify yeah, forever. No, Spotify. <laughs> yeah. But um, but yeah, it was uh, yeah. I remember when I first started the first year. It's it's tripled since the since the year and a half ago. Right. Yeah. Uh, um. So it's been good. I mean, good. yeah. And I actually, yeah, just recently put out an EP too. So if y'all want to check out Shameless Ooh. Plug, shout out what um, we started. I was gonna ask you about that actually. Uh, passed away. So. And not just that EP in general, because name the EP. It's your last, the fifth song on that. There's five songs. Uh, what we started. What we started, and yes. you named it that. I really like the one right before the the fourth one. What was the fourth one? Uh, the, uh, I think that was either was it? Um, I think a, a great escape. No, this there that. I think it's great escape. That sounds more familiar. Okay. Uh, well, regardless, Is I, it I sexy really like, or not sexy. I like that. Whatever the fourth one was, I remember being like, "Oh, this is oh great escape." Yeah. And then uh, what we started, and then that's the name of your album. And I yes. always wondered, like, why don't they just put the best song, name the best song after the album, and put it first, so everybody knows, like, "Oh, this is the one everybody knows." And I, I and I always wondered, like, who? How do you decide on what the name? On yeah, what to and choose? what the name the album is for one, and then why do you put it last? I guess last makes more sense, but sometimes it's like in the middle of the album. Yeah. Um. Well, I can't. Uh. Well, I mean, for me specifically, um. What we started, actually, what we started was, I wrote that like five years ago. That was a long oh, time ago. Oh, damn. Um, uh, shout out to Jesse, Barrera, and Jaybird. They helped me uh, put this project together. And um, as far as like picking this, the name of the project, I was just like, it, f it felt fitting. Um, mm -hmm. What we started just seemed like something that spoke to me where I was like, you know what, where, where I've been going, where I came from, and where I'm going to go. And I just wanted to pay homage to that. So what we started kind of felt like that. Um, also, this project um, is kind of like a bunch of my influences in one thing. Mm -hmm. So like design, like the first opening track is like. It's very different from your yeah, usual it's stuff. It's very, it, but it's also very like JT, like Justin Timberlake, yeah. uh, NSYNC, very pop. So that's something I love. <clears throat> I grew up on that. Mm -hmm. But then you also have Great Escape, which is very kind of like Latin R&B. And I also... That reminds me of like early 2000s R&B, which is like, um, there's an Usher song that called How Do I Say that's super inspired that. And then you have what we started, the um, the title track, which is kind of kind of like a Drake feel, the mm -hmm. way the, be the beat is. Right. Um, but yeah, that's how I, uh, that's, that's why I chose that as the title. But as far as the order, um, kind of just seeing how the flow was. Oh, it's really just the flow. Oh, Nothing okay. too crazy. Um, yeah. Cause I don't know. People, I always wondered that because yeah. a lot of times like yeah. every artist, they like name their album something and mm -hmm. it's not necessarily the one that's the hit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. sometimes they even name it and it's not even a song. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, album. Exactly. Something. Yeah. Yeah. For me. Yeah. I just did it as a flow thing. Cause my thing, I was like, okay, how do I want to capture someone's ear? Right Got now? it. Uh, and then I put design in the front. Cause like once mm -hmm. that beat hits, you're like, Oh, okay. All right. Well, yeah. go and uh, get. Well, what do you follow on Spotify? Uh, Subscribe. Uh, you can you can add my song to a playlist. You can follow. Oh, that's, I heard that's better. Something. Yeah. Playlist. Add follow. a song to a playlist. Yeah. And or buy it on iTunes. I'm sure yeah, it's there. Anything. It's on all um <clears throat> all streaming uh yeah all digital platforms. There you go. If you haven't heard Jr. before, he is one of the best vocalists that I know oh, personally. Nice. No, but I mean. Ryan, I'm, I won't say that. You you guys haven't hung out in like a long time. It was yeah. like a couple of years or so. And then yeah. the one night you came back and we're all just chilling. And then you left after. Ryan was like, damn, I miss JR's voice. I can invite him more often. <laughs> he sang for like a little bit. I was like, damn, I used to get this all the time. Yeah. I used to hang out all, I mean, at the yeah, other, nice. other place. And I would hear him sing. I took it for granted, dude. It was you like, did. took it for, for granted. I'm here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout no, out but to hanging out with all these singers and stuff, like you like get so used to it. And it's just like. Oh, when you don't hear for a long time, when you hear it live, it's like, wow, this sounds like a track. Mm. So, like, I mean, I think if you haven't heard JR before, go check him out. You would not, I guess you kind of just heard him sing the Shishi Brink song. Yeah. <laughs> Do not base that off. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect representation yeah. of there how JR sings. Is, guys. I want to know this real quick, though. Yeah. You ever make love to your own music? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> yo, that would be super awkward. What? Why? You I have like such like an R and B voice. You do have yeah. like sexy but, okay, music. Okay, okay, get it. But, the, but okay, weird. let's say, hey, like you get in the mood, y'all. Yeah, the mood's getting set, Ooh. and then out of nowhere, you just say, "Hi." Like, no, and it's not coming <laughs> from me. <laughs> that would be crazy. Actually, you know what would be even more crazy or crazier? What? You actually singing while you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I bet you Kanye does that. To his own music? <laughs> Kanye, oh. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Bro, that would be wild. Yeah. He's I like, bet you Kanye nah, puts nah, on nah, his nah, own music. Don't, nah, nah. The Sunday service, that new banging beat yeah, that, nah. that came out? Dude, uh, he, I can see it just oh going like this. Oh my gosh. She's like, Kim, do you like it? 
And she's like, I guess now. No. You know who's wild? I bet you you know who does could get away with it? Chris Brown. Chris Brown is for shit. I'm telling you. Like, I could see him doing like the, I need you, boo. So <laughs> And then he like starts crumping like before he gets it started. <laughs> Damn, we are getting That'd be wild. demonetized. <laughs> demonetized. Yeah, that, that, I already talked about the the other part of YouTube, right? Which so, yeah, we talked about it already. Did YouTube we? demonetizing. Oh, so yeah. every little is that thing. A yeah, new, they're for sure gonna see is that this. A new, uh, that's a new. Um, that's a new. Um, what do you call it? Option on YouTube. Uh, well, it's not the option. <laughs> it's it's, it's yeah. just demonetized. Is, that, yeah, is that a new tab? No, they have age restriction and stuff Yo, like that. Wow, they have a demonetized section. Like, just watch. <laughs> you can watch. Yo, they would probably have the most views. I think Fire. so. It would have no, to be all like the and craziest then, stuff. Oh, dude. they could add what? Oh, how about they do that? They make YouTube uncut and they would start paying for that premium. That would be cool. There, a very you're like, welcome. A targeted targeted playlist of just very disturbing videos. Yo, <laughs> you're just. Off the field you podcast. know what? There was there was sites like that. Like that's kind of like um, like remember you bombs world or like they would have break. like really a break and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, Crazy. like really like damn, I can't believe I just saw that kind yeah. of stuff. Now you could never see that on YouTube. It'd be gone like in an instant. Yeah, yeah. 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 On that note, um, dude, it's good to see you again, man. Good to see you too, bro. It's so a again, while you have any uh, plugs that you want to do one more time? Um, new album. New, yeah, new EP. Uh, what we started. Show, you have any shows? Um, if you're in Vegas, uh, I'll probably be showing. I'm gonna be throwing a um a show on April 5th. Uh, just follow me on my Instagram or Twitter. It's Jr. Aquino. Um, just right there. And uh, yeah. I mean, other than that, that's it, man. All right. Well, again, follow us at Off the Pill on Twitter and at Off the Pill. We gotta make it so it's the same thing. We should. Message them. I think we should. Yeah. Wait, we can get on, which one. which one it does it not have the off the pill? Off the pill is just Twitter at off the pill on Twitter at off the pill podcast on Instagram. Who has it on that? one? I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll try and get it back. Anyway, follow us on that. Uh, oh, shirts. We have a shirt too now. Tie. For those that are just listening, you won't know, but we have off the pill shirts. Just shouting that out. There's another one, but I I don't I don't have the right <laughs> I don't have the right size. Anyway, um, yes. Once again, thanks for tuning in to the Off the Pill podcast. Uh, I I don't know if you see how we end these, but um, we we just breathe into the mic. No, not yet. Oh, we'll talk to you next next podcast. <laughs> Am I missing anything? No, you, you yeah, we're still learning, dude. Yeah. That's oh, we're, we're still, still learning. Oh, they're still dude, like you, you'll come next time you come back on this. We'll Bro, be like pros. I'm down. I'm down. Or we'll, or or, or we'll, we'll yeah. Be yeah, you guys are so great this time around. <laughs> 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 so many difficulties. Yeah, I blame, awesome. I blame Paco. Yeah. Anyway, let's close this out and then we can go eat. All right. Thanks again for tuning in to Dawson Bill Podcast. <laughs> 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 You're a music guy. You know this is bad for the mic, right? Yeah. No, I don't know this. <laughs> no, he's so short. so Yeah, you just give me the like, thing. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Anyway, don't. <laughs>